Sometimes it kind of sucks to write code that never gets used. Even if you write something that does get used, but it gets tossed out after a few months or maybe even a few weeks, that can sting a little. It shouldn't though, because you really need to look at your code kind of like a box. Stick around for this video and I'll tell you what I mean by that. I just finished moving about a month and a half ago. If you've been around this channel for a while, you may have noticed that some of my surroundings have changed a little bit. That's because about maybe six weeks ago, I put all of my entire family's belongings into 15 large boxes, put those on a truck, and moved them just a couple miles down the street. You never really stop to appreciate the box and what a wonderful marvel it is. But thinking back on it now, I can't imagine what that move would have been like if I had had to take each of my belongings separately, individually, to the new place. It would have been a nightmare. But in spite of that, as soon as we got here and got everything unpacked, the absolute first thing I wanted to do was to get those 15 boxes out of this place as quickly as possible. I was able to find someone else who was about to be moving. They were eager to get some boxes, and so they came and picked them up. Worked out perfectly. What if the box engineer had been upset that I didn't want to keep their wonderful creation in my apartment forever? That's pretty wild to think about, but it's also sometimes how we think about our code. We want to see our work as beautiful work of art that's going to last for generations and be enjoyed by our children and our children's children. We put a lot of time and effort into it, we're proud of it, and we'd like for it to be able to stand the test of time. Two generations down the line, some junior developer will ask a senior developer, who wrote this code originally? They'll hear the story of the amazing coder who created this from scratch, wrote these incredibly elegant algorithms, and made everything work in concert perfectly together. Instead of all that, we should really be looking at our code more like a box. It's simple, it's functional, maybe even humble. It does a job well enough for as long as it's needed, and then it quietly goes away and makes room for something else, or maybe the problem we were trying to solve is, is over. Maybe it's solved. The best thing anyone could say for a corrugated cardboard box is that it did the job it needed to do while that job needed to be done. And really, that's the best anyone can say of our code too. The next time you find yourself a little bit disappointed, maybe even a little hurt that your code either didn't get used, or didn't get used for as long as you thought it should, try to focus on the things that do still endure. You solved a problem for some company, and the results of that are still around and still probably having some sort of impact. Even better than that, what did you take away from the project? What things did you learn that you'll now be able to bring to new projects and that make you better as a developer? make you more valuable, able to charge more money, able to do bigger and better jobs. Be comfortable letting go of your code and instead focusing on the lasting impact that code had. Thanks as always for watching and I will talk to you again in the next video.